liar! Don't you smirk! Don't you dare smirk! You got caught, didn't you, again? Like you always get caught, Dumbo! I see, it's too much of that and not enough of that! All right, enough. He's not worth it. Get off me! What, you think you can rip me off, do you? <laughs> me, who's carried you since you got out of the nick? Carried me? Yeah, and then laugh in my face! Oh, it's all about you, and it, Carla? She has given you chance after chance. <laughs> I begged you in that office to stay, but no, you would rather have a few bank quid in your back pocket oh, than have me, you wouldn't you? You me to it! Uh, well, save it for the coppers, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, you really think I won't ring him? Peter, phone. You can't do this to me, Tina. You can't stop me seeing him. He's my flesh and blood. Right, well, act like it, then. I thought I could trust you. She is in bits. She's knackered, hormonal, but you don't care about that. All you care about is that baby. I do care. I know, but... I asked you not to let Gary in, and you went behind me back. He is the baby's dad. Look, I'm sorry, but you don't know what it's like to be kept apart. Ty, let's leave him. Well, I do now. Look, Gary loves that child. I've seen him. He's besotted, just like you. But if the pair of you are going to fight over his crib... I mean, he's had enough stress in his life already. Look, if you can't put him first and turn up here in peace, then you don't deserve to be here at all. Seven rolls, yeah? They're all there. Yeah, well, if you do call the police, then all that's going to be impounded, isn't it? Rotting in a, a dusty storeroom in a week in court as Exhibit A. I don't give a toss about the silk, Rob. How could you do it to me after everything I've done oh, for you? Carla, you didn't donate a kidney. You gave you your brother a job and a bed when he came knocking, and I've, I've repaid it a hundred times over. What, by stealing by from me? By working night and day, schmoozing, bullying, begging, by pretending that we were a premiership outfit when I knew that we were League One at best. For which I gave you a fair wage. Oh, well, don't talk to me about fair! Right, give me the phone. If you don't want to call the coppers, I'll do it. I bust a gut for Underworld. For you. I thought that we were building something together. Suddenly you're done by framing wealth. But no, it all got too close for comfort, didn't it? So you bailed again. What? Stumped for your bezzy mate. Oh, bust and no brains. Michelle is a grafter. Oh, she's a plodder. Oh, well, she's loyal. Well, to your face, yeah, she acts the part, but, but killer instinct? Nah. Still, she's a she's a conner, isn't she? And you just can't help but suck up to that clan. Stuff your own family. Come on, let's get this in the car. It's not my fault you were the smelly girl with one pair of shoes. It was Mum's fault, Dad's the Bacardi. It wasn't me. Come on, let's get this shifted. So, he's talked his way out of trouble. You can Again. Get back to Underworld and clear your locker. Oh, is that all you've got? Yeah, say? and you can give your girlfriend a marching orders and all. And don't think I've finished with you yet. Oh, Carla, you finished with me 20 years ago. We've got a smoking shelter for our customers. I'm not a customer. We've got a lovely red in, chili and shiraz. I'm not a customer. I've just come out for a fag. Well, would you mind smoking in front of your own house, then? Wait. No seconds away around two. Chaz, I'm not arguing with you. No, I just rang my mate, switched our night out to Saturday. So if you want to bring Joseph round when you're ready. Are you sure? He's my son. I like spending time with him. Right, I'll put some extra clothes and jams in his bag then. Thanks, Chaz. It's really nice of you, that. No biggie. I'll see you later. Uh, uh, around seven, yeah? Results? I would have to bung down me a few quid and come home early. You're trying to stave off World War Three. You just need to step back. That's what I've been trying to tell her. Did you step back when Hope was born, Prem? Well, no. No, but... when John went on the run with her, did you go, oh, yeah, you can keep her? No, you know I didn't. But, Tina, this is different. He's not my son. Yeah, well, until Gary and Izzy step up to the plate, I need to act like he is. Right, we should get going, let you get some rest, you Ollie. Please, me. Oh, no, not, not yet. Have you not listened to anything Fizz just said? Well, we're sitting with quietly then. To save me from Withenshaw Wendy. Oh, which one's she? Oh, I know. Pink hair, nose ring in the next room. Yeah. She's got it tattooed on her boob. <laughs> I've seen that. Yes. What? <laughs> hey, excuse me. That was meant to be feeding time, not your chance to cup an eyeful. Honestly. <gasps> See ya. See you in a bit. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> no, no, no.
No. Get the eyes closed. Mm. You don't have to sleep. Hiya. Oh, I have been meaning to do that for ages. Do what? I'm clear out for charity. <laughs> How long have you been hoarding this one? <laughs> do you sleep walk around this place? I had that on the other day. And this. And that. <laughs> What, so it's not... Not for charity. No, Jenna. This is my life. What do I know? My mum says I dress like an overgrown schoolboy. Well, how do I dress? Come on, be honest. What do my clothes say about me? Um, you, you, you have high standards. It, perhaps err on the side of caution. That you like beige? I am beige. Bland. Vanilla. Oh, Mum, do you know, it's the first date I've had in donkey's years and I've gone through my wardrobe and all I can think is, help! Oh, I want him to think that I'm dynamic, witty, maybe even a little bit mysterious. Well, oh, lucky for you, the shops are open late tonight. Hey, guys, what have I told you about just dumping your stinky socks in here? That's why we got a washing basket. Really? <sighs> Adi, door! Adi! Hiya. I'm sorry. My darling son was supposed to be our official greeter for this evening. Adi! Uh, please, come in. Sit down. Uh, oh. Relax. Wine, beer, or spirits? Oh, thank you. That's, uh, that's nice. Listen, I've already got a red open. Oh, yeah, lovely. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Carl? Uh, glass of pina, would you rather have a beer? Uh, no, I just have a glass of water, please, mate, yeah. Water? You? Yeah, you sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm not a total alcoholic. <laughs> no, just want to pace myself, that's all. Right, now, tonight is nothing flash. It's just a simple thank you to the both of you. So, to friends. Through thick or thin? To move it on. this then? Another al fresco bunk up. So how did it go? We've had it. She knows it all has done for days. Carla? Yeah. It was a setup. Saunders must have tipped her off. How you couldn't tell that from the phone call, who knows? Me? Mm. Oh no, I didn't put a foot wrong. I followed the script exactly like you told me to. Whereas you, you've been acting weird no, for days. It, it doesn't matter now, does it, Trace? Because she sacked us both. I'm finished round here. You've still got the silk, right? Oh, you muppet! What if the police come calling? Well, I'm not sure that that's what Carla wants, but Peter's dying to put the boot in. Look, we need to make him see that if he sends me down, you're going down too. Oh, no. No, I've got a kid. Yeah, and no alibi, conspiracy, handling stolen goods. Look, we won't be painting railings, darling. It's custodial. You make sure... Your Peter knows that if he blows me up, he wrecks your kid's life as well. Rob. Yeah, don't trace it. Asha, Adi. Are the kids eating with us? Yeah, I thought it'd be nice. Oh, hello, you two. Hands, show me your hands. Surprise! <laughs> oh, what's that? We made it for Dad. It's Mum's life. Wow. Oh. oh, look at her there. She's the image of you. <laughs> That's what my auntie says. Annie, you must have spent ages on this. Three whole days. Yeah. It's wrong what people are saying. Is it? She wouldn't want to kill anybody. Hey, hey. She was kind. She really loved us. Yeah, she really did. I really loved this. Right. Come on, let's sit. Look, I'm not going to lie to you. I was made up when you ran. We need to get this sorted. Oh, this is lovely. Wishing the baby's head. Well, this feels like progress. What else are we meant to do? We've got a gun to ride. Tina's not the only reason that we're here, you know. When he was born, he was supposed to be ours. Look at us. We ain't even given him a name. She still holds all the cards, and that's down to you and you alone. No, it's down to him being premature. And none of us could have predicted that, could we? And he only needs Tina physically. It's not going to last forever. Look, I know you think I only say it because I got caught out, but that lunch was the biggest mistake of my life. I want us to move on. 
More than anything, I want our little boy to feel secure with two loving parents. Me too. It's really fair you see him. We need to set up a rotor for visits. He shouldn't suffer just because I'm angry with his dad. Well, he won't. Not now we're sorting ourselves out. As parents? Yeah, 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 I know that. But what I'm saying is, is that we're looking out for each other. It feels like a step closer. Closer to what? Not getting back together. Uh, not straight away, maybe. But... Whatever, Gary! So what's all this about, then? Well, it wasn't a reunion. How can you even think that? I don't think about anything else but that. That night, you went out with your army mates when you had so much to talk about and share. When it mattered. The person you went looking for was her. And I'm the one who ended up on the subs bench. I might forgive you one day, Gary, but I will never forget. There must be about 100 markets in this country, more, that sell fabric, and he tries to sell all the silk in one job lot to the factory's biggest customer. Hello? Yes, OK, thank you, darling. It's still Carla's life. Yes, well, I'm just saying. What next? Rock to Blackpool? Well, I suggest that tonight there is no shop talk, as you look wiped out. So, what do you think to Alana Cagbo's limo? Amy's been banging on about it all week. Oh, yeah. Simon mentioned this. Is it a birthday or something? Mm-hmm. And Amy's first girl in a limo. It's pink, by the way, and she wants a ride to the party. Oh, well, what nine-year-old girl wouldn't? Mr Packham says you can't park the limo outside the school. Conspicuous consumption. Doesn't want to set a precedent. <laughs> do you get why she's not dressed Rob up? Oh, my goodness, that was good, wasn't it? We lasted, what, about 20 seconds? But he's shown no loyalty to you. You don't owe him anything back. <clears throat> Are you dropping him in? It means stopping Tracy and I know. Hey, Rob. Uh, look, I, I want to see you. I'm in the bistro. Now? Well, put the bottle down, then. Bye. Oh, I know. Why don't we buy him dinner? Why don't you buy him some champagne as well? I can't do right for doing wrong. When you told me you were here. Hmm. I don't like Patreon on his own. We've got staff here all night. Yeah, working, not keeping him company. What are you thinking? I should have stopped work earlier. And they've done what? Scotch mist? <sighs> I just wanted to get away from the yard. Garrett and Owen. Stop blaming yourself. I mean, you'd have been smothered no matter what you did. Mm. Look, I was wondering, um, in a few weeks, we should go on holiday. I mean, Ibiza's good this time of year. Obviously, it'd be separate rooms. Right? We wouldn't have to go clubbing or anything. We could just chill on the beach, you know? Do the night markets. Put all this behind us. Or we could go glamping. <laughs> Me, in a tent. Dream of. <laughs> you must be loving this. That's it, Chip. You what? See my best mate get ripped off. Yeah, I'm loving that. Look, there's no need to pull up a chair. Just, um, I'll cut to the chase. I don't see any point in sending you back to prison, so... Don't even have the good grace to say thank you. She hasn't finished yet. Look, I've seen enough of courtroom drama to last me a lifetime. I just want you out of the factory and out of my life, please. Easier said than done. I propose a swap. Your freedom for mine. You sign the 30% share of Underworld back to me. How much? <laughs> well, let's see. How much did you pay for I it? I earned it. No, no, it was a gift, Rob. So you gift it back to me, and then you walk away, unescorted, I might add, to somewhere else. And what if I refuse? Mm. Oh, only, only brothers get to talk like that, Rob. Only brothers get to trade. No clues in the surname. Oh, you're not my brother. Just some loser I grew up with. I'd turn you in without a second thought, actually. So, you know, it's your call. I'll draw the contract tomorrow. You either sign up or go down. Drop some more red wine, Michelle. Love some. Sid's well greedy, isn't he, Joseph? Hey, how many dinners did he say he had? Six? Oh, imagine scoffing six dinners, eh? Hey, look at his Uncle Gary. Go yeah, on, mate. Hey. Oh. 
food. I'll give you one thing, Sally. You got stamina. Oh, Mummy better be trying all these on. What was it? Dynamic, witty, mysterious. Huh? There you go. You'll be like Dorothy Parker with a dash of the woman in black. She'll look like them goths that stand on the precinct. Hey, don't be so negative. No, I know my mum, and she's going to stick with who she is, not who she wants to be. So this will definitely be going back in the morning. <laughs> Oh, sound asleep. Oh, I turned off Daddy's CD, if that's all right. Thank you. If you believe you can achieve, forward by Rory McElroy, the golfer, and that boy who listens to him every single night. <sighs> they believe. You heard them before, right? Mum would never do anything to her. She would never leave us. Well, it's good they think that way. Yeah, but me, I just... just rolled over, didn't I? Swallowed the whole police line. Oh, maybe for a good reason. But, you know, when they're older, they're going to want answers. I don't have any. Because none of this makes any sense, does it? Maybe it never will. Yeah. But I should have just pushed the police just a little bit harder. Salita did what she did. It was a terrible tragedy that none of us will ever understand. <laughs> well, I think Hardy and I should have got it right. You know, remember the, remember the best of her. What, well, you think I should take my leave from them? I do. Have you been drinking? Have you spoken to Peter? No, I can't get through on his phone. It doesn't matter now. What do you mean? It's over. I'm on my own again. She's washed her hands of me, taken everything, made my job, my share of Underworld. She wants me out of Weatherfield. Well, she can't oh, do that. She can do whatever she likes, Trace, because we robbed her, didn't we? And it's, it's always going to be hanging over our heads. One phone call from her and, and me and you are back behind bars. Shh, don't shush him. I heard that. What have you done? Huh. You back early? I'm bursting. You came back just to go the loo? Uh, Katie was tired as well. Yeah, I had a bad night with Joseph. <laughs> yeah, listen, darling, in this flat, you have a bad night. We all have a bad night. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, at least you'll sleep well tonight, anyway. Mm. That's all right, he should have stayed out with his mates. Yes, well, I'm very glad that he didn't. You forget I was a young mum. It's a bit like juggling jelly, isn't it? You want to be there for the excitement, but at the same time, you still need to be there for your kid. Yep. It does help, though, if you have someone who understands. I mean, you might feel torn some days, but Joseph comes first, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Well, that's why, Ian. At least I consider it. Hmm. Night. Night, love. Night. Night. Searching for Sugar Man, about our singer-songwriter who came back from the dead. You heard of it? You're not going to bed. Well, it's not even 11. <laughs> I, um, I should go. What you said. The baby's not something I could just put behind me, you know? I didn't mean for it to come out like that. But <laughs> the holiday sounds good. Just not for a while. Not till it does sell, eh? Yeah, well, it's just an idea. And, um... Not in separate rooms. But well, you've been so good to me, Tommy. Look, I, um, I don't want to mess with your head. Your life's complicated enough. You ain't make it seem easier. I love you. I've never stopped. I love you too. Tracy, how could you? How could you risk another spell in jail? Now you've got Amy. Will you keep me voice down before Norris gets his glass to the wall? I suppose this is your idea, Flash Harry. Mm -hmm. She doesn't mind a bit of Flash herself. Tracy, wise up. Any man who would steal off his sister wouldn't think twice about stealing off you. Carla was right to get rid, you scum. So we stole a few rolls of cloth. Big wow. We didn't burn a flat down. We didn't endanger anybody's life. And we didn't break anyone's heart. You know, compared to Peter, Rob is a teddy bear. Rob is a rat. 
He wants something for nothing and an easy ride along the way. And you have ticked all his boxes. Get him out of my house. No. Just ignore her. She's right, isn't she? They're all right, I'm just a, a scumbag and a, and a thief and a, a rubbish one at that. No. You don't believe that. Well, the rest of the world does, doesn't it? Or at least they will once the, once the factory clock's on. Oh, great. So Carla wins? Oh, she always wins. It's the only thing that, that keeps her alive, isn't it? Look, I'm not saying that that's good. Do you know something? You're a man now. So why are you settling for crumbs off a table? It's all up here, you know. So make it happen. Not from handouts and wills. Fluttering my eyelashes. Through hard graft. A business that'll blow her out of the water. Right. And I am going to help you. All you need to do is to believe it. Come here, you. <laughs> Carla who? <laughs> Well, you can't say they don't deserve each other. Could you live a lie for your country? We meet two KGB spies who do tomorrow at 10 in new drama, The Americans. Next, with a turn from Ollie Murs, it's time to find out who you voted for. It's Britain's Got Talent, the results. Compared